हेलो वेलकम टू टूडेज टॉपिक हंड्रेड ऑर्थोपेडिक एम जी क्यू मूविंग टू आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओरिजिन ऑफ द बॉन्ड इज फ्रॉम ऑप्शन ए एक्टोडर्म ऑप्शन बी मिसोडर्म ऑप्शन सी एंडोडर्म ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द पाओ एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी मिसोडर्म मूविंग टू आवर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन क्ले शोवर्स फ्रैक्चर इज कॉमनली ओकोरिंग ऑप्शन ए लेमिना ऑफ द सी सेवन ऑप्शन बी ट्रांसफर्स प्रोसेस ऑफ द सी सेवन ऑप्शन सी एंडीरियर लॉन्जिट्यूडल लिगमेंट ऑप्शन डी स्पाइनस प्रोसेस ऑफ द सी सेवन एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी स्पाइनस प्रोसेस ऑफ द सी सेवन मूविंग टू अवर थर्ड क्वेश्चन ए ग्रीन स्टिक फ्रैक्चर ऑप्शन ए ओकोस चीफली इन द एल्डरली ऑप्शन बी डस नॉट ओकोर इन चिल्ड्रेन ऑप्शन सी इज ए स्पाइरल फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द टूबुलर बॉन ऑप्शन डी इज ए फ्रैक्चर वेर द पार्ट ऑफ द कॉटेक्स इज इंटैक्ट एंड द पार्ट इज ट्रिम्पल्ड और क्रैक्ट एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी इज ए फ्रैक्चर वेर द पार्ट ऑफ द कॉटेक्स इज इंटैक्ट एंड द पार्ट इज ट्रिपल्ड और क्रैक्ट Moving to our fourth question, spiral fracture is due to option A, blunt trauma; option B, axial compression; option C, twist; option D, direct impact. And the answer is option C, twist. Moving to our fifth question, myositis ossificans is common in option A, hip. Option B, knee. Option C, elbow. Option D, shoulder. And the answer is option C, elbow. Moving to our sixth question. In Saturday night paralysis, the type of nerve lesion. Option A, axonotomesis. Option B, neurotomesis. Option C, neuropraxia. Option D, traction injury. And the answer is. Option C, neuropraxia. Moving to our seventh question, in which position the finger deformity of Holtzman's ischemic contracture is corrected? Option A, wrist dorsiflexion. Option B, wrist plantar flexion. Option C, wrist neutral position. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is option A, wrist dorsiflexion. Moving to our eighth question, in port spine the disease starts in the option A, intervertebral disc; option B, anterior vertebral margin; option C, posterior vertebral margin; option D, paravertebral soft tissue. And the answer is option B, anterior vertebral margin. Moving to our ninth question. Paraplegia tuberculosis is common in which of the region of the spine? Option A, lumbar spine. Option B, thoracic spine. Option C, cervical spine. Option D, sacral spine. And the answer is option B, thoracic spine. Moving to our tenth question, gastrocnemius recession is done most commonly. Option A, cerebral palsy. Option B, residual polio. Option C, CTEV, congenital telepoeconovirus. Option D, atherosclerosis multiplexa. And the answer is option C, CTEV, congenital telepoeconovirus. Moving to our eleventh question, in anterior dislocation, which nerve is commonly injured? Option A, musculocutaneous. Option B, radial. Option C, upper or lower subscapular. Option D, axillary. And the answer is option D, axillary. Moving to our twelfth question, in the talipus equinovarus fort is option A, plantar flexion and inversion. Option B, dorsiflexion and inversion. Option C, plantar flexion and inversion. Option D, dorsiflexion and inversion. And the answer is option C, plantar flexion and inversion. 
moving to our 13th question airless movement of affected in the tb hip option a flexion option b extension option c adduction option d abduction and the answer is option a flexion moving to our 14th question airless pathomechanical changes in oa osteoarthritis option a loss of water option b fibrillation option c decreased collagen option d decreased hyaluronic acid level and the answer is option b fibrillation moving to our 15th question which of the following is a known risk factor for development of a disc capsulitis of the shoulder option a epilepsy option b diputrans contracture option c diabetes mellitus option d renal disease and the answer is option c diabetes mellitus moving to our 16th question in infant assessment burlos test is positive this is an indication of option a hip instability option b knee instability option c shoulder instability option d wrist instability and the answer is option a hip instability moving to our 17th question the ganglion is most commonly seen at option a dorsal aspect of the wrist option b volar aspect of the wrist option c over the forehead option d dorsum of the tongue and the answer is option a dorsal aspect of the wrist moving to our 18th question cop's angle is generally measured in option a kyphosis option b scoliosis option c lordosis option d lateral flexion and the answer is option b scoliosis moving to our 19th question earliest sign of waltzman ischemic contracture option a pain option b obliteration of the radial pulse option c pale and cold hand option d paresthesia and paralysis and the answer is option a pain moving to our 20th question the deformity of polisman's tip indicates option a high brachial plexus injury option b low brachial plexus injury option c hips paralysis option d subscapularis paralysis and the answer is option c hips paralysis moving to our 21st question a marsh fracture is most frequently results from option a direct trauma option b jumping from a height option c muscle fatigue from prolonged walking option d use of high heel shoes and the answer is option c muscle fatigue from prolonged walking moving to our 22nd question the pulled elbow indicates option a dislocation of the elbow joint option b subluxation of the elbow joint option c dislocation of the radial head option d subluxation of the radio ulnar joint and the answer is option c dislocation of the radial head moving to our 23rd question which of the following is considered to be the primary stabilizer of the knee to external rotation option a anterior cruciate ligament acl option b posterior cruciate ligament pcl option c lateral collateral ligament lcl option d medial collateral ligament mcl and the answer is option c lateral collateral ligament moving to our 24th question post traumatic avascular necrosis of the scaphoid is most common in option a proximal pole of the scaphoid option b wrist of the scaphoid option c distal pole of the scaphoid option d none of the above and the answer is option a proximal pole of the scaphoid 
Moving to our 25th question. The most pain sensitive structure in the joint is the option A bone end, option B articular cartilage, option C joint capsule, option D synovial membrane. And the answer is Option C, joint capsule. The joint most likely to have recurrent dislocation is option A, ankle, option B, knee, option C, shoulder, option D, patella. And the answer is option C, shoulder. Moving to our 27th question, the painful arc syndrome is due to Option A, chronic supraspinatus tendonitis. Option B, subacromial bursitis. Option C, fracture of the great tubercle. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option D, all of the above. Moving to our 28th question. Hips palsy is commonly due to the injury of Option A, head involving premotor area. Option B, pelvis involving lumbosacral plexus. Option C, thoracic involving diaphragm. Option D, upper trunk of the brachial plexus involving C5, C6. And the answer is Option D, upper trunk of the brachial plexus involving C5, C6. Moving to our 29th question. The tear of the meniscus of the knee results from which of the following strain? Option A. Hyperextension. Option B. Abduction. Option C. Combined flexion and rotation. Option D. Rotation. And the answer is Option C. Combined flexion and rotation. Moving to our 30th question. The pathomechanism of the carpal tunnel syndrome is Option A, ulnar compression at the wrist. Option B, ulnar compression at the elbow. Option C, median nerve compression at the wrist. Option D, median nerve compression at the elbow. And the answer is Option C, median nerve compression at the wrist. Moving to our 31st question. Deputrans contracture is the fibrosis of Option A, sartorius. Option B, foramen muscle. Option C, plantar fascia. Option D, none. And the answer is Option C, plantar fascia. Moving to our 32nd question. Industrial absorption of the calcium is dependent upon Option A, vitamin D. Option B, parathyroid hormones. Option C, calcitonin. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option A, vitamin D. Moving to our 33rd question. Osteoporosis is the deficiency in Option A, calcium metabolism. Option B, calcium deposition. Option C, protein supporting tissue. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option D, all of the above. Moving to our 34th question. Anterior dislocation of the shoulder may be complicated by Option A. Brachial plexus injury Option B. Tear of the rotator cuff Option C. Fracture of the head of the humerus Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of the above Moving to our 35th question The viscosity of the synovial fluid is mainly due to Option A, chondritin sulfide. Option B, hydrourinase. Option C, albumin and leucine. Option D, alpha and beta globin. And the answer is Option B, hydrourinase. Moving to our 36th question. The most common congenital deformity of the hind foot is telepers. Option A, calcaneus. Option B, equinus. Option C, equinovarus. Option D, varus. And the answer is Option C, equinovarus. Moving to our 37th question. The most common tumor of the small bone of the hand and feet is 
ऑप्शन ए एन कॉन्ट्रोमा ऑप्शन बी ऑस्टियो कॉन्ट्रोमा ऑप्शन सी ऑस्टियो क्लास्टोमा ऑप्शन डी कैलकिनस ऑस्टियोमा एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई एन कॉन्ट्रोमा मूविंग टू आवर थर्टी एथ क्वेश्चन In AP view of X-ray, the compression disappearance of the shadow of the lesser trochanter indicates option A, central dislocation of the hip; option B, anterior dislocation of the hip; option C, posterior dislocation of the hip; option D, fracture of the neck of femur. And the answer is option C, posterior dislocation of the hip. Moving to our thirty-ninth question. Limb shortening with adduction and internal rotation occurs in which type of hip dislocation? Option A, anterior. Option B, posterior. Option C, central. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is option B, posterior. Moving to our fortieth question. Bone metastasis in male commonly arises from the cancer of option A, lungs. Option B, prostate. Option C, kidney. Option D, thyroid. And the answer is option B, prostate. Moving to our forty-first question. Osteomalacia is predominantly affect the option A, spine. Option B, pelvis. Option C, skull bones. Option D, metatarsals. And the answer is. Option A, spine. Moving to our forty-second question. Nelton's line joins anterior superior iliac spine to option A, cephi sternum. Option B, pubic tubercle. Option C, ischial tuberosity. Option D, ischial spine. And the answer is option C, ischial tuberosity. Moving to our forty-third question. Brand's triangle helps to assess option A fracture neck of femur option B iliac crest displacement option C trochanteric displacement option D none of the above and the answer is option C trochanteric displacement moving to our 44th question most common complication of the fracture of shaft of femur is Option A, malunion. Option B, nonunion. Option C, knee stiffness. Option D, fat embolism. And the answer is option C, knee stiffness. Moving to our forty-fifth question, the most common injury following pelvic fracture is of option A, plantar. Option B, urethra. Option C, rectum. Option D, vagina. And the answer is. Option B, urethra. Moving to our forty-sixth question, Bennett's fracture is option A, reverse Colley's fracture. Option B, fracture of the scaphoid bone in the wrist. Option C, fracture of the radial styloid or Choffard's fracture. Option D, fracture or dislocation of the first metacarpal. And the answer is. Option D, fracture, dislocation of the first metacarpal. Moving to forty seventh question, a port's fracture is of type of fracture of the option A, wrist joint, option B, ankle joint, option C, spine, option D, foot, and the answer is option B, ankle. Moving to a forty eighth question. Birth disease is common at the age group of option A, one to five; option B, six to ten; option C, eleven to fifteen; option D, sixteen to twenty. And the answer is option B, six to ten. Moving to our forty-ninth question. The sequestrum in an X-ray appears. Option A, dense. Option B, light. Option C, isodense as the surrounding bone. Option D, any of the above. And the answer is option A, dense. Moving to our fiftieth question. 
malunion of a fracture is option a fracture which unites in the position of the deformity option b delayed union of the fracture option c non-union of the fracture option d followed by pseudo arthrosis and the answer is option a fracture which unites in the position of the deformity fracture involving which part of the humerus can cause delayed ulnar palsy option a shaft option b surgical neck option c medial epicondyle option d lateral epicondyle and the answer is option d lateral epicondyle moving to our 52nd question the deformity of the wrist in colis fracture is option a metlax deformity option b dinnerfork deformity option c potentire deformity option d none of the above and the answer is option b dinnerfork deformity moving to our 53rd question colis fracture can be complicated by light rupture of option a extensor pollicis longus option b abductor pollicis longus option c adductor pollicis longus option d flexor pollicis longus and the answer is option a extensor pollicis longus moving to our 54th question the carpal bond most commonly fractured is option a trichotrum option b hematite option c capitite option d scaphoid and the answer is option d scaphoid moving to our 55th question stenosing tino is commonly affects option a adductor pollicis option b flexor pollicis longus option c opponents pollicis option d all of the above and the answer is Option A, abductor policies. Moving to our 56th question, the early sign of TB hip in X-ray is Option A, narrow joint space. Option B, irregular moth eaten femoral head. Option C, periarticular osteoporosis. Option D, dislocation. And the answer is Option C, periarticular osteoporosis. Moving to our 57th question, healing of tuberculous arthritis can lead to Option A. Calcification Option B. Fibrosis Anglosis Option C. Bony Anglosis Option E. None of the above And the answer is Option B. Fibrous Anglosis Moving to our 58th question, the single most important factor in fracture healing is Option A. Correct bond alignment. Option B. Accurate reduction. Option C. Immobilization. Option D. Organization of the clot. And the answer is Option C. Immobilization. Moving to our 59th question. A sequestrum is Option A. A piece of soft dead tissue. Option B. A piece of dead skin. Option C. A death tooth. Option D. A piece of death bone. And the answer is Option D. A piece of death bone. Moving to our 60th question. Trendelenburg sign is used in the diagnosis of Option A. Varicose vein. Option B. Congenital dislocation of the hip. Option C. Carcinoma of the stomach. Option D. Pulmonary embolism. And the answer is Option B. Congenital dislocation of the hip. Moving to our 61st question. The average duration of the Perks disease is Option A, 1 to 2 years. Option B, 3 to 4 years. Option C, 1 to 6 months. Option D, 6 to 1 year. And the answer is Option A, 1 to 2 years. Moving to our 62nd question. In purse disease, the hip movements is restricted are Option A, abduction and external rotation. Option B, abduction and internal rotation. Option C, adduction and external rotation. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option A, 
option b abduction and internal rotation Moving to our 63rd question, union of the simple and complicated transverse fracture of the tibia in an adult normally takes. Option A, 6 weeks. Option B, 8 weeks. Option C, 12 weeks. Option D, 18 weeks. And the answer is... Option C, 12 weeks. Moving to our 64th question, radial nerve palsy may occur in the fracture of the humerus involving Option A, surgical neck. Option B, shaft. Option C, lower end. Option D, at all of the above locations. And the answer is... Option B, shaft. Moving to our 65th question. The most common form of supracondylar fracture humerus in children is of which type? Option A, flexion. Option B, extension. Option C, combination of A and B. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is... Option B, extension. Moving to our 66th question. Myositis ossificans commonly occurs in around. Option A, shoulder. Option B, elbow. Option C, wrist. Option D, knee. And the answer is... Option B, elbow. Moving to our 67th question. Volksmann's ischemia commonly occurs in following. Option A, fracture of the shaft of humerus. Option B, supracondylar fracture. Option C, college fracture. Option D, motangia fracture. And the answer is... Option B, supracondylar fracture. Moving to our 68th question. Cubitus valgus of the elbow commonly follows fracture of Option A, lateral condyle Option B, medial condyle Option C, capitulum Option D, lower third of the humerus And the answer is Option A, lateral condyle Moving into our 69th question Normal neck shaft angle of the femur is Option A, 90 degree. Option B, 120 degree. Option C, 150 degree. Option D, 170 degree. And the answer is... Option B, 120 degree. Moving to our 70th question. Treatment of severe commuted fracture of the patella involves... Option A, physiotherapy alone. Option B, insertion of the figure of 8 tension band. Option C, patellectomy. Option D, inserting screw or wire. And the answer is... Option C, patellectomy. Moving to our 71st question. Acute osteomyelitis is commonly caused by... Option A, Staphylococcus aureus. Option B, Streptococcus pyogenes. Option C, Haemophilus influenzae. Option G, Salmonella. And the answer is... Option B, Streptococcus pyogenes. Moving to our 72nd question. Acute osteomyelitis usually begins at... Option A, Epiphysis. Option B, metaphysis. Option C, diaphysis. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is... Option B, metaphysis. Moving to our 73rd question. In port spine, the disease starts in the... Option A, intravertebral disc. Option B, anterior vertebral margin. Option C, posterior vertebral margin. Option D, paravertebral soft tissue. And the answer is... Option B, anterior vertebral margin. Moving to our 74th question. Melon seed bodies in joint fluid are characteristics of Option A, rheumatoid arthritis. Option B, tuberculous arthritis. Option C, septic arthritis. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is... Option B, tuberculous arthritis. Moving to our 75th question. Internal reduction is considered in the presence of Option A. Reduction impossible to be achieved or maintained. Option B. Healing is expected to be delayed. Option C. Pathological fracture. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is... Option 
Option D, all of the above. Commonest risk factor for fracture of neck or femur is Option A, osteoporosis. Option B, osteomalacia. Option C, bone tumor. Option D, osteomyelitis. And the answer is Option A, osteoporosis. Moving to our 77th question. Most commonly discs cervical vertebral disc is Option A, between C1, C2. Option B, between C3, C4. Option C, between C5, C6. Option D, between C6, C7. And the answer is Option C, between C5, C6. Moving to our 78th question, what is angulosis? Option A, restriction of the motion in a joint. Option B, degenerative changes of the vertebra. Option C, dislocation of the vertebra. Option D, loss of normal vertebral curvature. And the answer is Option A, restriction of the motion in a joint. Moving to our 79th question, Thomas test of hip joint is done to check for Option A, sacroilitis. Option B, iliosoyas tendonitis. Option C, adductor contracture. Option D, flexion contracture. And the answer is Option D, flexion contracture. Moving to our 80th question, Tendenberg's test of hip joint is done to check for Option A, abductor weakness. Option B, iliosoyas tendonitis. Option C, adductor contracture. Option D, flexion contracture. And the answer is Option A, abductor weakness. Moving to our 81st question, Thompson test of angle joint is used to check for Option A, tibialis anterior injury. Option B, eyelace tendon injury. Option C, tibialis posterior injury. Option D, lateral collateral ligament injury. And the answer is Option B, eyelace tendon injury. Moving to our 82nd question, the best initial treatment for club foot deformity in a newborn boy is Option A, serial manipulation and casting. Option B, posterior medial soft tissue release. Option C, tendon lengthening. Option D, portex injection. And the answer is Option A, serial manipulation and casting. Moving to our 83rd question, recurrent shoulder dislocation is best treated by Option A, physiotherapy. Option B, Nicola's optician. Option C, Bunkart's operation. Option D, put pallets optician. And the answer is Option C, Bunkart's operation. Moving to our 84th question, the most valuable structure in supracondylar fracture of the humerus is the Option A, median cubital vein. Option B, brachial artery. Option C, median nerve. Option D, ulnar nerve. And the answer is Option B, brachial artery. Moving to our 85th question, most commonly fractured bone is Option A, hematite. Option B, scaphoid. Option C, lunate. Option D, capitite. And the answer is Option B, scaphoid. Moving to our 86th question, idiopathic scoliosis is A. Option A, lateral curvature of the spine. Option B, rotation of the spine. Option C, lateral curvature with rotation of the spine. Option D, flexion deformity of the spine. And the answer is... Option C, lateral curvature with rotation of the spine. Moving to our 87th question, what is the most common pediatric benign bone tumor? Option A, osteoblastoma. Option B, osteochondroma. Option C, enchondroma. Option D, osteoid osteoma. And the answer is Option B, osteochondroma. Moving to our 88th question, Whiplash injury is caused due to Option A, a fall from a height Option B, acute hyperextension of the spine Option C, a blow on the top to the head Option D, acute hyperflexion of the spine And the answer is 
Option B, acute hyperextension of the spine. Moving to our 89th question, Buckard cyst is a synovial cyst seen at Option E, anterior aspect of the knee, Option B, posterior aspect of the knee, Option C, medial aspect of the ankle, Option C, lateral aspect of the ankle. And the answer is Option B, posterior aspect of the knee. Moving to our 90th question, which of the following is a symptom of the torn medial collateral ligament of the knee? Option E, the leg can be abducted. Option B, leg can be adducted. Option C, anterior dryas. Option D, posterior dryas. And the answer is Option A, leg can be abducted. Moving to our 91st question, which structure is most likely to prevent the reduction of angle dislocation after a supination injury? Option A, anterior talofibular ligament. Option B, calcaneofibular ligament. Option C, posterior talofibular ligament. Option D, peroneus brevis tendon. And the answer is Option D, peroneus brevis tendon. Moving to our 92nd question, the single dependable sign of early Volkswagen's contracture is Option A, cyanosis of the fingers. Option B, obliteration of the radial pulse. Option C, paralysis of the flexor muscle of the forearm. Option D, pain. And the answer is Option D, pain. Moving to our 93rd question, the commonest cause of low back pain. Option A, disc herniation. Option B, phased disease. Option C, muscle strain. Option D, unknown. And the answer is Option D, unknown. Moving to our 94th question, a milvax brace can be used in Option A, sacroiliac strain. Option B, dearrangement of the teeth. Option C, a patient with a above knee amputation. Option D, scoliosis. And the answer is Option D, scoliosis. Moving to our 95th question, the name associated with the joint neuropathy is that of Option A, Cushing. Option B, Oyster. Option C, Moon. Option D, Charcot. And the answer is Option D, Charcot. Moving to our 96th question, adenocorticosteroid administrated in the excess course. Option A, osteoporosis. Option B, osteosclerosis. Option C, osteochondritis. Option D, endochondral ossification. And the answer is Option A, osteoporosis. Moving to our 97th question, Hypothyroidism is most commonly associated with which of the following pediatric condition? Option A. Leg clasp birth disease. Option B. Slipped capital femoral epiphysis. Option C. Toxic synovitis. Option D. Achondropalacia. And the answer is Option B. Slipped capital femoral epiphysis. Moving to our 98th question. Meniscal tear usually results from which of the following circumstances? Option A, hyperextension. Option B, flexion and rotation. Option C, symbol hyperflexion. Option D, compression. And the answer is Option B, flexion and rotation. Moving to our 99th question. Decutance disease classically affects the Option A, flexor pollicis longus and brevis. Option B, extensor carpi radialis and extensor pollicis longus. Option C, abductor pollicis longus and brevis. Option D, extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus. And the answer is Option D, extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus. Moving to our 100th question. Medial meniscus of the knee joint is injured more often than the lateral meniscus because of the medial meniscus is relatively 
ഓപ്ഷൻ എ മോർ മൊബൈൽ ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ലെസ് മൊബൈൽ ഓപ്ഷൻ സി തിന്ന് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി അറ്റാച്ച്ഡ് ലൈക്ലി ടു ഫീമർ ആൻഡ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ലെസ് മൊബൈൽ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഫോർ ടു ഡേ ഇഫ് യു നീഡ് ക്ലാരിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഫോർ എനി ഓഫ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ടു കമൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ കമൻറ്റ് ബോക്സ് സോ ദിസ് ദ എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് സീരീസ് ഐ ബി ബാക്ക് വിത്ത് ന്യൂ സീരീസ് സോൺ സോ ഡു സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ടു ദിസ് ചാനൽ താങ്ക് യു